Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jay the Stingray back here again. I want to go in and get this, uh, get some videos up on this series. I was going to do uh, basically a uh, an appreciation uh, of Philip Seymour Hoffman's films with the uh, you know his untimely death uh, recently, and I've been watching a lot of his movies and want to go ahead and start putting some reviews up on these. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of his. This was a really uh, a pretty big blow to me because I, I think he's really one of the more was one of the more talented actors that you know we have these days, and obviously really uh, devoted to his craft and uh, just a really talented guy. He's going to be uh, uh, missed in Hollywood for sure. But um, go ahead and get started here. This is going to be Charlie Wilson's War. Um, this is a film that I had seen before, and uh, I thought it was is I thought it was okay the first time I saw it. Watch it again. I think I may uh, may have enjoyed it a little bit more the second time around. Um, directed by Mike Mike Nichols and uh, stars Tom Hanks, Julie Roberts, Philip Seymour Hoffman, of course, and Amy Adams. Um, this is a really a, a character piece. I mean, the uh, amazing actors in this one. You know, uh, all star cast, and I think that the the biggest uh, positive for me in this film is the the way that Philip Seymour Hoffman and Tom Hanks play off each other and just their their interactions um, really really interesting stuff uh, a lot of times very comedic and uh, just uh, do a do a great job really just chewing up the scenery both of them um, of course all star all star actors in this one but this is uh, a drama I guess you'd call it a, a comedy, drama, biography, whatever, but it's uh, Charlie Wilson. Based on a true story, I don't know how much is real and how much is, you know, fabricated, colored for the screen, whatever, but um, I would imagine quite a bit, but I'm just speculating. Uh, Charlie Wilson, Texas congressman, he is, uh, there's a situation going on in Afghanistan. Early 1980s, I think it maybe starts in 1980 when he gets involved. The uh, Russians are basically waging war on the Afghans, and the Afghans don't really have the adequate supplies to defend themselves, and they're just basically, you know, brutalizing these people. And uh, Charlie Wilson and uh, a, te a Texas socialite, and that's his, uh, let's see if I can get her name right. Joanne Herring, that's Julia Roberts' character. Uh, she basically, uh, you know, propositions him to go over there and you know look at what's going on. And then once he does that, goes over there, sees the horrors that's you know that's happening there in in Afghanistan, and uh, he you know decides to get involved. And eventually, you know, he he gets uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character Gust. I wrote. Avocados. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is a CIA agent, and they basically orchestrate this whole plan where they're going to secretly supply the Afghans with uh, with weapons to defend themselves and eventually defeat the Russian army. And uh, they have to do this secretly, obviously, because this is during the Cold War, and you can't have any association with a real war with uh, the U.S., you know, between the U.S. and uh, Russia. So, yeah, that's basically the plot of the film. And it's, it's uh, you know, this is a, a war film with very little war at all in it. This is all behind-the-scenes type stuff. And, you know, when you just hear about the film, it sounds really drab and boring, and it's, it's not. And like I said, it's carried by the performance of the actors. Uh, Julia Roberts, never been a huge fan of hers, but never really disliked her acting at all. Uh, I've just never really cared for the movies that she's been in, but she does a great job in this. Uh, uh, her and Tom Hanks both kind of kind of ham it up quite a bit with their characters. They put on quite a quite a heavy southern draw, and uh, I guess it's kind of appropriate considering the people that they're playing in the movie because they're they're kind of you know larger than life themselves. But um, yeah, I'd say this is a good film to watch. Uh, definitely a, a memorable performance by Philip Seymour Hoffman and. Uh, one of his more straight roles, you know, as far as the uh, the, the roles that he's been in. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and, and I hope to have more of these videos up here in the very near future. Thanks.